Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome to USA International Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. The recorded version of this broadcast, as with all of my others, is at youtube.com slash John Theodore in the full race archive. I am starting fourth in the number two quality care Ford credit Dale Jarrett throwback scheme, courtesy of Last week's bet winner, Jeffrey, 1983. Waiting on word from him whether he wants to continue with this same scheme for this week or if he's going to change it up on me again. Because he won again. <laughs> MC2W, I'm going to try, man. I want to get a win here. I haven't won at USA since the since rookie, Street Stocks. Oh, I've had some good time. races here, but haven't gotten the win. Um, so yeah, starting fourth in the number two, 50 laps, no cautions in this series, so sometimes these can look like old banger races or wreck fest style stuff where there's just cars smoldering all over the place and everyone just kind of dodging the mess. Hopefully it isn't like that, but we'll see. All right, Earl, get it up, buddy. M4. Pace car is in. Green flag in the air. Good start for the number four. Inside. Trying to work around the outside to secure third. And instead I end up in the wall. <laughs> Just a little scrape that shouldn't do any real damage. But it does cost me the shot I had at third. One car thought about making it three wide there and then thought better of it. Was that that hit me? Who was that that hit me? That was me. We were going too wide in the corner. I didn't see you. No, I'm, I mean, who hit me to turn me around? Twenty-one point three two nine. I don't know how bad the cars hurt. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know who the Napa guy was. Just drove straight in the back of me. I think it might have been Jake. I know he drives the Napa car a lot. I mean, I was a little bit slower in there. I was trying to fall in line and dude just pile drove me right into the rear end. Was it the nine car? There's another one going around. That's annoying. Alright, we'll just fall in behind the leader here and try to see how competitive we still are. I don't know how much damage I got. Looks like I got hit in the rear, so the front isn't too badly hurt. It just, he hit me in the side, which is fine. This is the 19 car. Well, then he's just a uh, clueless rookie, whatever. Not gonna worry about someone with that low of an I rating. 
my fault for making no you know what I would never have been in that situation if I hadn't made a mistake on the start of the race and gotten into the wall I was gonna shuffle out into third and instead I got myself hung on the outside So that's really for oh and that's why you don't hook it back when you get loose going into the corner don't want to let you by Robert don't really need to race him either, though. Clear. Don't want to finish a lap down if I don't have to. Got to be so careful going into these corners. I'm in 12th. Should be able to recover to a top 10. That ought to be easy enough. Might be able to get a top 5. We'll see about that. There's still a lot of race left. 21.362. Outside. Clear outside. Stay low. Twenty-one point two two four. Inside. Still inside. Still there. Still there, quarter. Clear low. Let him go. 21.886. Still there. Pride's making me want to race these guys, but it's not the smart thing to do or the respectful thing to do right now. Poker on the bottom. Got one stopped on the apron in front of you there. Outside, clear by half, 21.829. Six got up into him. Nine isn't going to be happy about that. Oh, there's the 19, Mr. Inside. Napa himself. Inside's clear. Just a little aerating driver who doesn't know how to drive his car. Hey, Spike, how's it going? They're pretty busy, but when you get a chance, you can look at your attempt for me. Outside. Still there at your door. Here we go around the 18. They're clear, clear. I'm in ninth and kind of at the mercy of what happens with some of the, oh boy. There goes the six around. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Still there. And he's gonna hold clear, on clear, to it. Clear. Car stops on the bottom. 21.798. Another one in trouble. The it's the five Clear again. Twenty-one point four five five. Out 
outside. Clear. Nineteen's asking for trouble. Twenty-one point five four three. Probably got fresh tires. I think this is going to be a one race uh, stream. 21.463. Outside, outside. You're clear. Planning on going over to hang out with the folks after this. He is a mess, but again, low I rating. Low I rating DKIS driver. Inside, two inside. Inside, one car open. Still there. Twenty-seven. That's why I don't. Seven, two, one. On your clear, clear. Still inside. Clear. Trying to let these guys by, and then they're messing up, and it's just costing me more and more time. Just disconnected. Realized that his race is done. driving around here kind of tiptoeing trying to not ruin any of the races for the guys that are running on the lead lap 21.40 and salvage whatever I can out of this finish which isn't going to be a ton ninth place right now that should at least prevent any big I rating loss Five incident points won't help my safety rating much. 21.3, two, six. Of course, we still need to get around for 20 more laps. Yeah, right. Caution. Would have liked to have had a caution when I first got spun out. Might still have a chance at this thing. 21.189. That puts me up to eighth. Everyone else is nearly a lap ahead in front of me, I think. 21.326. Didn't the seven start on the inside of me on the beginning? I think he started third. Just lost it on his own. Four, seven, four. That looks bad. Twenty-one point eight. Well, I think I'll be able to get a win here this week. It's a shame that I'm not going to get this one. I feel like I'm pretty quick on the long run. Yeah, a lot of these guys are driving way too hard. I've been seeing that. It's just, I noticed it in practice. It's super easy to lock up the brakes and it's super easy to spin it coming off of turn four. And so you just have to be aware of that and be gentle with your inputs, particularly with the steering wheel. Just gotta be smart. Seven's disconnected. So that wreck really did ruin his race. That's too bad. Twenty-one 
21.394. A little bit loose coming off there. That's where I lost it in the American Pool Supply Truck Series race here. Just too much wheel coming off too, and I was trying to dig and gain a little bit too much. Fifth place car, the number 11 is almost a lap in front of me, so top five seems fairly out of the picture. I don't know where sixth is. 21.314. It's just a matter of, you know, wrecks at this point. If the guy, if some more of the guys in front of me wreck, I'll be able to gain positions. Otherwise, this is where I'm going to finish. Twenty-one point three. Thanks, Randy. Four. Time to go. You got it. Just trying to dig best I can. Point one seconds up to the number 10 truck car there. Four snap for position. If I didn't have damage, and if I still had track position, be looking at a pretty good finish. P6 just want to lap down. All right. Having trouble down the bottom, down the bottom. Go high. Ten point two in front of me, though. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gaining a second a lap on him. Twenty-one point five five five. If I would have stuck with the leader better. Then I would have had something for him. But as it sits, I think that seventh is the best that we're going to do. Let's take a look at that gap. It's 10 seconds right now. My car has definitely got damaged. It's not nearly as fast as it was. You really need to be careful with your weight transfer getting on the brakes into these corners, particularly turn one because the front straight's so bumpy. It really unsettles the car right before you're gonna brake. 21.432. And if you try to snap it down to the inside, that's where we've seen a couple guys lose it. Last lap. All right, last lap of the race. 21.342. That's disappointing. But I'll take seventh, given the hand we were dealt in this one. Put one in front of you on the bottom. Check and flag. Nice comeback there, John. Good job, everybody. Yeah, thanks, man. Way to work your ass off. Earl, good job up there. Thank you. Good job, Bob, man. Nice one, Robert. Thank you. Might have, might have had something for you if I hadn't been dumped by the 19 early. Well, I knew I didn't have that like two qualifying pace, but I feel like I was trying to be better on my tires. Yeah, same. I think okay. I was pretty yeah, gentle on mine too. I just the that wreck just crushed yeah, my car. Uh, 
coming in the engines there by 24 truck. 10 4, swing around the bend there and bring it to the lift gate. Uh, so. Dylan, I think we'll start pumping the league when we get a bit closer to it, but. Um, Yeah, so it was, it was lap two. Let the one go by. I'm just looking to slot in behind the one in front of the three. And the 19 just ran over me. I guess it's partially my fault. Oh, and there I got clipped by the 17. That's what did the damage. Tires were at 90 and 91 at the end there. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should have been more aggressive and fighting it better. I just figured the 19 was going to go down to the inside, and I was going to slot in in front of him. I did not expect that at all. But I guess he didn't expect me to be slowing up that much either. I kind of messed up my entry. Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit slower and higher on entry than I should have been there. I just knew that there wasn't a lot to be gained being overly aggressive on the high side. That's frustrating though. But that's short track racing, sometimes that happens. Um, so... <laughs> Still whooped even with my early entry? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, thank you, Randy, for hitting the rear end over the motor. I appreciate that. Here's the results. Seventh place, one lap down, 89 points. Lost 11 I rating, lost .04 safety. So nothing to brag about in that. That's a small consolation that the 19 ended up <laughs> wrecking himself out. But, you know, honestly, I mean, the guy's a 1,500 I rating driver, so he drove like one. Uh, let's see, league. So let me see if I can even find the league. There it is. So this is a league that um, Dylan's created. Uh k &N League starting at the end of the NIS season, 12-race schedule, a four-race non-elimination chase. That should be fun. Um, okay. Points will be the current point system. We're going to rotate short intermediate super speedway. Chase rules to be decided prior to season open. $3 fee will be asked joining members. Go to the race sessions. $2 an hour. Okay. Ten, so $10. I, I'm confused by this, Dylan. Is it a $3 per race fee? Or... Oh, okay. It's is it ten dollars for the the season and three dollars per race if you're just jumping in. Um. Anyway, so yeah, if you guys want to uh, join in for this, you know, I'll probably shoot out some invites and stuff, and we'll hammer out some of the details as we get closer. So, yeah, it'll be a little bit of fun to uh, do in the off season. So that wraps it for this race. Uh, I think the schedule's still, we're still working on that. But we got some time to figure it out. Maybe Wednesdays might be good. I don't know.
Or actually, we could do it on Thursdays since there's no NIS. We can just drop it into the NIS slot. Uh, but yeah, so short stream. Um, I'm going to sign off. Planning on going and hanging out with the folks for a little bit. And uh, I'll be back on later tonight, though. So appreciate you guys, and uh, look for the notification when I go live. So uh, thank you, moderators, as always. Uh, thanks to my new followers. And for some reason, it didn't catch the bit here, but thank you, Jeff Price, 1991, for the bitties. Uh, sorry that it didn't catch you there. It's me, Randy, and Racer66 being new followers today. So uh, thank you guys. Appreciate you hanging out and watching. Sorry that I didn't get a better finish for you. But that's how racing goes sometimes. So...